Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Uh, today we're looking at Aaron Judge's swing. Out of all the players and all the requests I get uh, for Major League player swings, Aaron Judge is probably number one. I get asked about him almost every day from somebody uh, on Twitter or Instagram or uh, through email. So I want to go through his swing today. I'm going to hit on a couple of things that I think are really important that he does. We're going to talk about some of the swing characteristics that he possesses um, and hopefully help you guys out a little bit. Okay, so first, I'm just going to play through Judge's swing here a couple of times. And when I watch him swing, I think the thing that stands out to me the most is how early his back gets in the zone. So you can see when he starts to turn, the barrel is really working around him, right? So it, it's, it's working back here. It starts to move behind him. It starts to blur quickly, right? So he's creating bat speed right from, right when he launches, right from go. The bat's starting to work around him. And he gets in the zone. I know it's hard to see because the bat kind of blurs out. But he gets in the zone really, really deep. Way back here, he starts to get in. That arrow isn't the best arrow. I meant to be kind of like this. He starts to work in the zone deep. And I've seen him do drills, and I've seen him talk about hitting. Um, and that's one of the things he's trying to do. He's trying to get the barrel into the hitting zone as early as he can so he can get on plane with the pitch. And you can see him working slightly up through contact. Now, Judge is obviously a big, huge, strong, physical dude. He's like 6'7". He's 200 and, I don't know, 80 pounds or whatever he is. And so he's trying to get the ball in the air. We talk to all of our hitters. You want to be slightly up through the, the hitting zone so that you're on path with the ball for as long as paired as you possibly can. It's going to increase your consistency, um, and it's going to give you a better ball flight, better launch angle. Um, the bigger you are, when you're judge's size, you really want to make sure that you're hitting the ball hard and in the air. Right? And so to do that, you have to do a couple of things. All right? And let's break, kind of break those down real quick. The things that stand out to me. Okay? So the first thing you're going to see is this really pronounced pullback. And we've talked a lot about the pullback move. It's, it's a move that you're going to see in pretty much every elite hitter, every major league hitter. As he starts to move forward, he's going to pull back. He's going to use his back, and he's going to pull back that way. So you can see this move here again. This is going this way, and he's pulling back that way. So now he's used his back. He's loaded his upper body in the position to hit. And what it's going to do, it's not going to allow the upper body. You know, what you see with a lot of youth hitters is they move forward and their upper body wants to go. Their upper body wants to get involved really quickly. Well, when that happens, you end up pushing the bat through the zone. You end up using your chest and uh, the bat wants to go quickly. You're going to get steep to the ball and you're going to have kind of a pushy swing. You're not going to have a snappy swing. You're not going to be able to create the, allow the bat to work in the zone early. When you pull back, you're resisting against this forward move. So one thing it does is it keeps you back a little bit more. So as I'm moving forward, I'm countering that forward move with this pull back with my upper body. It keeps me balanced, keeps me around this back leg a little bit more. It puts me into position so that when I finally do launch the bat, I can work this barrel deep. Okay, just think about it again. If I push my hands forward as I'm striding forward and I launch, the barrel's going to cross more across my chest instead of working behind me right here. All right, So it really puts me in position to launch. So that's a really, really key part of the swing. The other thing is, is he stays in this back hip here for a long period of time. So he's not jumping or leaping to his front side. He's not getting forward. As he moves out, he pulls back. It keeps him around this leg for just enough time so that when he finally is able to launch right here boom so he's gonna launch if we kinda draw this line right down through his back hip 
you can see the barrel is going to really work around his body and enter the zone on the left side of that line. It's going to enter on this side. Right? Because his leg is going to turn him. But because he's not forward, because he hasn't shifted forward too fast in the, into the lead leg, the barrel turns much, much deeper in the swing. And again, able to get in the zone way, way back here. The earlier I'm able to get in, the more I'm able to work on path with the ball. The other thing that you're going to notice that he does is, again, at go, you're going to see this tilt working back here. So you're going to see the lead shoulder start to work up and back. The rear shoulder is going to work under this way. So you get this tilting action that happens kind of back over this back leg. And that helps you launch the bat deeper, get the bat on path. You're going to see the rear shoulder is always going to work below the lead shoulder. So again, a lot of these things, we talk to a lot of the hitters that I work with about a lot of these things. A lot of hitters come in and they do a lot of the opposite of what you see here, judge to them. They get to their front side early, they don't pull back. Their hands want to get pushed out in front early. They're, they're so worried about getting the bat down to the ball. This A to B swing. The back shoulder stays up. It, it almost fights to stay up. They want to try to keep their shoulders level, which creates even more of a downward swing and more of a pushy swing. And so if you start looking at elite swings, you see a lot of the opposite things from that. And once you trust it, once you really trust and... First of all, it comes with getting good information, right? You know, studying hitters, getting good information, and understanding exactly how the swing is pieced together and works. And then once you start to trust it and allow it to happen, I've seen amazing results with players really, really, really quickly. Like huge jumps in, in, in bat speed and exit velocity. And again, those aren't the only two things, but you, you immediately see big jumps in that. You see bat pat improvements you see the swing just launch much, much quicker. So there's the tilt back. And what it does, like we said, gets the bat in the zone early, on path for a long time, increases bat speed. Well, when he hits. So I would start when I'm looking at his swing again. Those are the three kind of things that really stand out. The good pullback, staying around that back leg for a long period of time, you know, we talk, I put a video up on our Instagram about kind of riding this hinge, getting in good posture, getting around this leg, and then riding that as long as you can. And then that, that tilting action where the lead shoulder is going to work up. The upper body, you know, the entire upper body is going to work that way. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. A lot of times when I put judge stuff up, a lot of people say, yeah, well, he's huge and he can do all this stuff. Um, but I would challenge you to, is, to look at all major league hitters, right? And although stylistically everyone's a little bit different, if you start to look at these, just look at these few things I'm talking about here and see who does it. And I think you'll start to see that a lot of major league hitters, most major league hitters that can, that can hit, will have these elements in their swing. And although they may do it a little bit uniquely, it's all there. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions. I will try to get to those. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not done so already. Give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Share the video with all your friends. Check out the description box below. We've got a deal going on with Plate Crate. Type in Antonelli, and you will get 50% off your first Plate Crate. We also have our... Uh, Patreon page link down there where you can support the channel. We've got a bunch of other stuff that we're recommending as well. And that's all I got. Thanks so much, guys. I appreciate it, and we'll talk to you later.